103. I must pee. Police break up business protests. Freeburg unemployment increased by 9%. Writer Ivan Baikoff presents Magnum Opus. Okay. What happened here? Nothing happened there. Everyone loves me. Can I be a part of the Mafia? Can I actually run the Mafia in this game? I was up all night, couldn't sleep, and now I have this ringing in my ears. Kind of like they are fine. I was up all night reading excited. No. I'm not accepting that. That, in any way, shape, or form, am I not accept? I'm not, I'm not accepting that, okay? Go suck a dick. That's all I gotta say. Small business, don't forget to prepare for your upcoming meeting with the prosecutors uh, tomorrow. Fantastic. Salary? Yeah, okay. $75. Jack, we don't. We have something going down today at residential area A849. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. 1500 you kill anyone, I'm going to kill you. All right, so now let us go here. Let us go to the archive. Let us reopen this case, and we can reopen them with our guys. So look, Moser, 1,025, and everyone here is gonna go on this case of the homicide of the of the Sleepy Hollow murder, because it's kind of creepy. Some crazy man in a clown suit stopped that school bus. The driver pulled over, and he threw a grenade inside. He didn't. It didn't explode, but the children are too afraid to move. Okay, another reason to fucking hate clowns. Okay, I'm. He threw a grenade in a fucking school bus. Jesus Christ! Can we just get the? Can we just get SWAT out there just to shoot this guy in the face? Don't even question it. Just shoot him in the face. That's all I ask. I don't even know what cops I just picked. Just go. Just shoot him in the face. The children are crying, but quietly sitting in the bus. Outside the bus, there's a man in a clown suit giggling. <laughs> Uh, hey man, the joke's over, let the kids go, shoot the clown with a taser. Kids, owe me a toy grenade, you can come out now, don't be scared. Fuck you clown, I'm hitting you with a taser. You son of a bitch. I don't give a shit, if you're not even attacking anyone, you're going down with a taser. Plain and simple. Oh shit! Oh my god! Sand, what did I tell you? What the fuck did I tell you? Please don't kill anyone. You, you just you just didn't listen, did you? A man, accompanied by a hippie-like girl, dragged a rare yellow monkey out of his cage, hid it somewhere, and then quietly left the zoo. Why? 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 Don't start dragging yellow monkeys out of their cages. They're evil. Have you guys ever seen the movie Zombies? I'm not even gonna go further. Did you just take it for how it is? And just watch the movie. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Monkey beaten to death. Alright, that's these guys went crazy on the monkey. Um yeah, if you guys ever see the movie Zoo Zombies, it's just it's just it's a ridiculous movie. Obviously, zombies are involved, and the zoo is there, so just put two and two together. Suspicious individual. A store employee noticed a woman who resembled the famous swindler Lee Kuan Yew, whose pictures have been on TV many times. Okay, no. Because that's just swindler? There's a swindler out now. Why hasn't the swindler been caught before? Could it be that he's a, he's just in a show? Could that be it? You crazy bitch. Fraud. A man in the clown... Why? What is with the clowns? A man in a clown suit entered a bank, presented the cashier with a check of $250 billion. Wow. And demanded to cash it. He threatened the bank would face serious consequences if... If couldn't pay it out, the entire amount in cash reports the reported the head of the branch. Okay, well, Robbins is going to take Hogan, and they're going to take out Spain. Rev oh, no, just yeah, Robbins, Hogan, and Spain. Let's go deal with this crazy clown. The second one in the day. If we have options to hit him with a taser, just hit him with a taser. Oh, this was real. Okay, that was real. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. It's one of these things that you just, you just, you don't know, whatever. Five armed robbers broke into a bank and demanded access to the safety deposit boxes. The manager agreed after they shot one of the customers in the leg. During the turmoil, a security guard and five visitors were able to escape and call the police, but there's still over a dozen hostages inside. Well, SWAT, you're going to take Vandal, Mefford, Godbomber, Purez, Guren, and Fraser, and you're going to go deal with this. Look, I'm sending a lot of cops, okay? 
I'm sending so many cops here that they should be able to take these guys down easily. Specifically with SWAT. I'm going to keep the paddy wagon in the police station because that's where I have all my parties going on right now. The man in the clown suit was a, fury, was a famous performance artist, Sigmund Hammerling. Apparently the check was supposed to warn the public that the financial system is on the verge of collapse. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? You're, you're an asshole. Mr. Boyd, my vehicle transport company, is regularly being attacked by bikers. They lie and wait for the loan truck out in the country, then blow the tires and steal the cargo. They put the last driver in a coma. I found out these bikers hang around Kevin Schroet's bar after dark. I want your guys to storm in there and show them the highway to hell. And don't forget to touch their bikes. Or torch their bikes, right? Sorry, I thought you said touch. I was like, okay, now we're just going to randomly start touching these guys' bikes? I better get a lot of money for this, boy. Okay? I better get a lot of money. Because, frankly, I need a lot of money. Seriously, the Atkins Corp guy, this is giving us a crap load of money. I, 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 I like working for him because I get a lot. I get a lot back. All right, good. Every, everybody was arrested. That's the one thing I've noticed about the game. If you, have, if you get all of, the, uh, all of the, the mobs and stuff like that, and you're actually able to... to 12,000. Okay, that's a good amount. And you're able to capture them and everything. Yeah, you, you raise your money very quickly. But Atkus, man, he's pumped me up quite nicely. Assault. The insurance company's officers, offices are home to a fresh scandal. One of their clients is accusing them of inflating their her insurance premium after her husband's death in a car crash. The woman was shaking her fist as she delivered a punishing speech, or punishing speech then grabbed one of the agents by the tie and bounced his head off the table. Robbins. Hulk Hogan and Spain go go deal with this person who is banging heads off tables because she is just outrate right now and uh, I can't blame her I kind of agree with her terrorism Barry Sanchez told the police that she accidentally discovered some shocking entries in her husband's Victor's private journal. He's planning to enter the train station and break open a large capacity storage tank filled with mercury. According to Betty, Victor hasn't been himself ever since our son died serving in the army. I don't know this man, and I'm very scared of him. This is very serious. Cecile, Gobbummer, Hunter, Guerin, Darnell, oh, Fraser, Darnell, and Guerin are going to go... Maybe try not to try to help this guy not open a mercury container. Okay, let's not do that. That's not really the first thing we should do in our lives is open a mercury container around a bunch of people. Because let's just face it, it's not really something that you wake up in the morning and you're like you know what today, I'm gonna get myself a mercury container and I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna twirl around like I'm a tornado, and I swear to God, someone's gonna not gonna have a good day. Suspicious individual Aaron Kriggs noticed a creepy man in the cemetery during a heavy downpour. He was ignoring the rain, just walking with purpose through the graveyards. I think he was planning on atta to attack someone, but he, but he just hurried off. I bet it comes out. But it, I bet it comes out he's some kind of serial killer. Okay, no, maybe the man is visiting a grave. If it's raining, hey, if it's raining and unfortunately you're mourning a loss, you don't care if the rain is getting on you. Like, come on. Nice. Nice. All of them. All of them are making me so proud. So proud. Massive fight. Three plant workers were drinking beer on a bench and started harassing a group of young sportsmen who were talking at the bar. The men started calling the athletes fags and laughed at them and then threw one into an empty bench. At first, the athletes were ignoring the bullies, but their patience was at an end. One of them grabbed a beer tap and broke a plant worker's head upon with a single blow. Open with a single blow. The seven athletes then rallied together and started beating up the remaining men, utilizing themselves as fucking trampolines, flying off of these, flip flapping all around, and literally killing these guys. Because they're athletes, right? So, you know, they're athletic. You would assume athletes would be able to flip flop around poles and like kick people in the face so elegantly. Are we not Jackie Chan? Okay, well, I got one new frame. Oh, my God. Though, it appears that we have what we need. So, let's see what's going on here. There we go. Fraser Rory, former electrician of the Scottish Theatre, has been out of work since the theatre closed. Well then. 
That's not fun. Uh, Robbins and Kwando with SWAT. Let's go get this crazy man. This Mr. Man was a local grave digger who recently fell on an extra bit of work. Oh, there you go. Not even anything crazy. It's just a fucking grave digger, man. Relax. Or else it's gonna come after you with a fucking shovel. And bash your face in. The place was tr has turned into a real battle. More workers joined in to help their friends from the factory, and the fight expanded to involve several dozen people. Give a heart-rending scream and order them to cease all fighting immediately. Find someone still on their feet and knock them on their ass. Fire several shots in the air and order everyone down to the ground. Yep. The fight grinds to a halt, and two athletes approach the police. They... The fuck you think you're doing here? We got this. We don't need you. The men look qu quite menacing, armed with... Bricks and ironworks. Okay, boys. Just teach us how to do push-ups and we'll leave you alone. Taser the asshole. Use a nice stick. Taser the asshole. Yeah, don't fucking talk to me like that. As a matter of fact, we don't even... We don't only just taser you. We literally taser your asshole. We we bent you over, pulled your pants down, and tasered that butthole. I got tasered in my butthole. You got him. You got him. They got him. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay, look, look, look at that. First case, and we've already caught the guy, which is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. This is a very short recording session I just did. Uh, like I said, I am leaving for the week. Uh, I think at this point in time, when this video goes out, I'm pretty, like, I think I'm coming back tomorrow anyway. So, um, But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you guys are enjoying this. The police, please, please continue to leave so much nice messages that you guys have been leaving. It's very awesome to hear from you guys. And it's very awesome to hear that you guys are enjoying this. So make sure to leave a like, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to also leave a subscription below, hit that sub button, and make sure to bell me. Bell, ring a ding, ding my bell. Um, until I feel swell, uh, because that's the way that you know that you'll get notified if I add any new videos to the channel, which I'm trying to do more, a little bit more frequently now. I'm also trying to implement the Saturday quick healing sessions, which is kind of a one-off to see if you guys like a game and uh, to kind of let me see if you guys want me to do a series of a certain game or not, and then we'll go from there. So, guys, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for interacting. Thank you so much for being yourselves. And as usual, make sure to heal. Please heal.